hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven new class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to use them um, arcgis to carry out water shade and um, delineation now it is um an area of land where all the water that is under it or drains off of it goes into what the same place right good so what i should refers to the area of land where all of the water that is under it or drains off of it goes into a single place so there are quite some stuff we are going to do delineation and then the process using what um angels so the very first thing we are going to do is that we are going to use the fill tool to remove some things right good so we come back to our ArcGIS and then we come down to Spatial Analyst Tools and then we go to Hydrology, right? Good. Now, under Hydrology, we start by clicking on Fill. It fills things in a surface raster to remove small imperfections in the data. So we have our digital elevation model. And then for the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to work with what the default um, database that has been created. So we call this um, fill. Click on OK. OK. Fill has been executed successfully, so we can now be working with this data. Now from the notes, the next thing is for us to calculate what the flow direction, right? Good. So we come back still on what the hydrology under special analyst tool. We click on flow direction, it creates a raster of flow direction for each cell to each what them um, downslope neighbor, right? Good or neighbors. So instead of using the default um, digital elevation model, we are now going to use what the field which has been what corrected. Then for the output raster, we call this flow direction SS and we click on OK. Good. Now the flow direction is out. Um, you can actually check on s documentation to see what these colors represent and um, what some of these values also represent right good under the flow direction now from our notes we have it as what it is determined by calculating the direction in which the water would flow from each cell in the dam right good so it is vital for understanding the terrain's natural um, drainage pattern the next thing is for us to, to calculate the flow accumulation, which calculates the number of cells that contribute flow to each cell in the dam, right? Good. So we go for the flow accumulation next. So we still look at this one. In this case, our input um, flow direction raster will be this. And then we call this, um, good. So we call it flow accumulation SS, right? Good. So we click on OK good so the flow accumulation has been executed successfully you know if we zoom in we can see some white lines right good now we can decide to work on the properties coming down to symbology and then using classified perhaps changing it to two classes and then now this upper value since it's about over three million we can decide to use maybe 50,000 or maybe 5,000 as the case may be to be the upper value so that we can use that to be the range of value, right? Good. So click on OK. OK. The flow accumulation is much. We can decide to still increase this value. Click on OK, apply, then click on OK. So we are done with the flow accumulation. The next in line is to use the basin tool or to create what a pop point, right? Good. Now we are going to look at, um, we are going to identify one point to use as a reference where the flows are coming to maybe terminate, right? Good. So if we say we want to use this point so that we can know the linkages up to this point in terms of what the flows right good or the drainages so we 
so we come down to the catalog and then we have done the folder connection right good so we right click come down to new then we create what a new shape file then let's call this um pop point right good the feature type is actually what a point and then the special reference let's edit it's geographic come down to world and then wgs 1984 right good so we click on ok the point has been created come down to editor we start editing it's the power point that we need we click on ok then we use what the create feature tool which is the power point we want to create and then we said we are trying to use this what this junction right good so we can decide to save our edits and then stop editing right good so we can close this create features window then we have our pop point there right good the next thing haven't created the pop point okay we can still make this a bit more visible let's say we tend be too loud okay that's fair enough so the next thing is for us to now delineate what the water shade boundary right good so we have um, defined where the pop point will be so we come back to the app toolbox then under the hydrology we come down to water shade right then the input flow direction layer which we have here then the input raster or fissure pop point data which we have as what well, this right good so I haven't fixed all of that we click on ok good so we have what the watershed flow defined it's actually a raster of which we are going to convert to vector very soon let's see if we put this out we can have this right good so I haven't delineated the watershed create what a threshold that will help us identify those um some of those drainages so we come down to map algebra raster calculator then we have um where the flow accumulation is greater than let's say 1000 right good and then let's call this um, flow accumulation 1000 right so we click on ok good so we now have what different um, flow directions that have been what that have been outputted right good so let's zoom this to layer and then we can decide to now convert this our raster to what to vector so that we can have what a boundary for clipping so we still come up under the actual bus to conversion tools then from raster so we are converting from raster to polygon first and then what we are trying to convert should be this and then let me call this um water shade polygon right simplify polygons yeah and then we click on okay good so we now have what the watershed polygon so we can decide to change the symbology to no color increase the width to about three and then change the color to red right good so we now have a well-defined boundary and again we also need to convert this um we also need to convert this flow accumulation raster to what to polylines so we still use raster to polylines this time around we impute this and then we say flow accumulation ensure you identify your directories very well we are doing this for the sake of the tutorial right good so let's call this polyline right good so we can decide to take this out we now have what our two vector data set so let's zoom to 
to these layers good now we can use what the clip tool the fissures to be clipped are then the fissures used to clip the input fissure should be this right then we can call this um watershed okay so we can decide to take out some of these and then we now have what the watershed which has been what has been defined good so having defined the flow streams and the drainages we can still put on the digital elevation model we started with and then modify the color ramp to something different to overlay what what we have designed as what the watershed right good so you can still work on the color we have here maybe if the green is not okay you might decide to change it to blue or whatever you can decide to change what the width of your line to be a bit thicker and the rest of that so thanks for coming to class in today's tutorial we have exhaustively shown you what um, watershed is delineation and then how to use them um, just to arrive at um, this particular watershed right good so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye